hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back guys make sure you guys hit that like button that subscribe button make sure it's great and not red also to like comment and subscribe to the channel post notification bell on guys so you don't miss a video and time out load over here at positive things okay <clears throat> i gotta get me a cough drop y'all anyway as y'all can see we're on our series i told y'all we was getting down to the nitty-gritty and as y'all can see on my table i finished doing some of the pin your clips clips go plans playing with clips however you want to word it that's what we're gonna do i'm not totally getting rid of my paper clips but guess what let's just try and plan a different way that's all we're just gonna plan a little different that's it y'all never know what we have going on over here at closet says and as y'all can see your girl always doing a spin to something always doing a spin to something so y'all take a look at these and y'all remember when i was showing you guys the video um of how to start out doing these right and only thing you have to do is get you a bottle cap put your adhesive on it set your bottle cap up like i showed you guys in the previous video you know just go back and watch that video and go from that step and then that's when your decorating start but remember in order to get this hole at the top or either on the side you must have a drill okay of your choice of what you would like to use so this video is not going to be long okay so as y'all can see we've been doing it is something else i didn't show you guys too hmm huh. i think oh i know why i didn't i know why because it's for another video my bad guys my bad my bad but i'm gonna show this one because this one goes with what i'm doing now and if y'all hear me over here i'm digging in my box so all right i'm gonna i'm gonna put this to the side okay so i can show y'all that but anyway these are my designer pin your um pin your plans okay these are my clips the way i make them okay you can do them however you would like to do them you know and add your little spin to them add your little kick to them remember we showed you guys how to paint them what you can add on them all kind of stuff so you can also put the bling on them you can use flowers so so much of this other stuff so all of that that's coming but i just want to show you guys since i showed you guys the other video i want to show you guys what i did with my designer images that um i've been using and i just thought i would share so instead of using a plain old paper clip sometimes which is okay and you remember i told you guys it's okay sometimes but this time we're not we we decide to do the clothes pins let's see what we can use by stationary with the clothes pins okay this one right here the ysl this what i want to show y'all too remember we just only use plain old paper clips so lord him i'm talking about the paper clips because we're not using we use only plain clothes pins remember from this guys to this and i'm fixing to show y'all them okay I'm fixing to show you guys them. Hold on. Let me show you this. And if you can remember, and I know you do, if y'all remember watching my video of the um how I make your charms, making charms, it's right here. Remember, we did a video on this, of how you make your own charms. Like I said, it's okay. You can buy charms sometimes too. That's fine. But remember, we're using close pins right now okay i just want to show y'all this but i'm i don't think i'm gonna use this one for this you can just clip this on 
right here to this and it's another video I a total video I have of these here coming too just like with these you see them too it's pretty it's pretty this one's still wet and I'm just handling it like it's dry you can do it like that or if you don't want this here hanging here you can put a regular charm like I did with these here okay and you can hang it here let me see will it, will it work I don't think this one will work like my other ones if it do no I don't think it do it have to go all the way down there and I don't like that on my other one I unless it, I let me see guys I want y'all to see what I'm doing unless I bend this out open this up some I wonder if I can let me see but I'm scared I'm gonna uh, no I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna no I ain't gonna be able to do it on these I want to tell you you can hang it from here y'all saw me when I hung it from right here it'll be too low for me so we're not going to hang it there on these let me show you on this one let me hang some of them are still kind of wet this one is wet I know this is the Chanel one my designer inspired and this is how I made my little CC you need your little CBs and such out of a regular clothes pin guys I left this um, part just plain, but I wanted the sides painted and this side painted because I wanted to try to keep a little bit of the clothespin look. So, let me see. Can I do it on this one? No, I can't even do it on this one. What's going on? Okay. But anyway, that's the CC. And my charm goes here and all. So, I'm going to hang this right here until I can see if I can find one. So, this can be cute while I sit there. Y'all can see. Um, This is the little bit of one. See that? Thing you gotta do is just slide it back over, and this is all from a body cap. Y'all know I use these for my um ID badges, my badge reels. Yeah, it can go there, I think. Just this, I use regular rhinestones and I use um clear nail polish to go back over it once I finish decorating it and everything. I set it up the same way. Okay, let me see. This is the Prada. See that is cute. I did like that at the back on some of them. I don't know if I did. Don't like that or not. To keep from having the black. See in the wire, I put bees at the back of some of them. From this to this. So, uh, it's okay. Because I got to get a bit of setup to display them. But I want to, I'm going to show y'all too how I package them. How you can, how you can package them. No, I didn't do that one. Okay, this is another Chanel one. I left this one. I want to do something kind of different. You know. And it's not coming off, y'all. Trust me. That's it. 
Let's see. Another Chanel. Another CC. this okay and this one may be a little wet because I just did this one today love pink this thing that one I did this kind of like a confetti it's cute though up the back I want the back to be kind of plain to give me a little look of the regular clothes pin so like I say you do it how you want them now you know you can use put magnets on the back of these I haven't did the magnet ones yet but I will do some but I'm not gonna do a whole lot of them but I will show you guys a tutorial on that how I do it you know this one a little wet I just put a little glitter, a little beads, little pearls. Girl boss. Got a little star charm. I was going to add another star to the big star. That's it, really. And that is it. And all of these, I use my little bottle caps. You can get bottle caps off of Amazon and so forth. But this is my designer collection with my little designer styles inspired of the way I did them use my images wanted to try something different I said let me try something different so and that's what I did with the clothespin clips and all from a plain clothespin guys from a plain, plain clothespin there are so many more that I'm going to do on here with you guys so look for the series to be a little bit long <laughs> If you guys are interested in doing these, just have fun doing it because you can use anything. You can decorate them any kind of way. When I say you can decorate these guys any kind of way, the stuff that I have bought for these here is I'm, it's overwhelming. I'm telling you, it is overwhelming, especially like for kids. I'm going to use some of them like for school. They are going to love it. They love stuff like this. And the older girls young ladies um the women you know they love stuff like this when you're into the designer style and you want to be a little different and it's okay to be different so if you want to be a little different looking for something unique just come on over here to closet and sass honey and see what's popping off just come on over here and see what we're cooking come on over here and see what miss d have on her table just come on over here join the fern that's all I'm trying to tell you. Just join the fun. Just join the fun, honey. You will not be disappointed. Trust me, I'm telling you, you y'all won't be disappointed. Because it's always something different and unique. Because I'm doing it my way. So when you say, um, when you see, you say, my sass with bling, baby. It's my sass with bling doing it my sass my way. And that's when I'm doing it my way. You do it how you want to do it, but I'm sharing with you guys how I do it. You know. But, yep, that is it. I love this one. Now, the other part of this video, I'm going to show you guys. But remember, I said from this to these. Y'all have fun doing it. I'm telling you, because I did. I, if, I couldn't even get, them, get it done quick enough because I was always thinking of something else another way that I could decorate this clothespin. Okay. Now, I'm going to show y'all a way to package these, okay? Okay. Y'all see this? I did some with words on them. That's a boss. Let's put it. And if you remember the video, I showed y'all the three the, the video and I did like a little 3D look on this you can do it like this as well I did a little smaller one this was 
this is like the two inch this is a three by three this is the two 2.85 this is the three by three okay and i just put the charms on them like i did these here and as y'all can see i love the silver and i love the word i love the word so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this off and on the back, I just put thank you. It does not matter. I can always rewrap it. I don't mind rewrapping. Re Let's see. Let's say boss. Mm And that's all it is. I cut off me a four by four sheet of paper, piece of paper, as y'all seen the video before. Cut me a little strip going across. It made it look like a little, brought it out, so I'm bend it with a little 3D look to it. That's it. That's a regular clothes bin. Um, that's it. A regular clothes bin, guys. I put my little info on the back. And as y'all can see, I get this in paper from um, the supposed to board. I got it and just cut it up from on the Dollar Tree. And this is another way that you can use these, that you can make these. Let's see. I'm gonna leave that down there so you guys can see it too. Yep, and that's a boss. Are you a boss? Are you a boss? Yeah, you guys are bosses. Yes, I know you're bosses. Okay, now, y'all seen what I can sh showed you that, right? So, this is what I'm gonna do. Remember I showed y'all, y'all can do it any kind of way. So guess what, I pre-cut me some, if y'all remember the video, I showed y'all how to do it like this too. I just pre-cut this, and you can make these as big as you like. Um. It's no particular size. You know, cut the size of your bag. And that's what I did. So. But this one here. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what this one looked like. So, once it's cut. I cut it. I put it here. And no, I don't want anything here. I, that's why I did it like that. And that's it. I see that. That's cute. That's it. And the only thing you do, put it in your bag, baby. Let me show y'all. Put it in your bag. Well, just slide it in your bag. Everything labeled and such. Fold it over, but it will be a pink one on here. And voila. That's it. See how cute that look. Just that cute. Just that cute. Okay. You can do it like that. So take this out. Take this off because I want y'all to see this. So, that's that one. No, now I'm going to have to use this because I want y'all to see what I did. Okay? Hold on. I'm, I want y'all to see what I did. All right. This one here. Okay. I'm going to use a... You can use a black piece of paper because I already pre-cut some of them. You can use a black piece of paper. That's cute. Or you can use a white one. And I'm fixing to show y'all what I did on this. That's cute. Watch this. Y'all watch this now. Keep looking. What I did was I cut out me some. I went on the computer. Copied and paste. This right here. So I'm fixing to show y'all something right quick. Take but a minute. 
to package this. I'm fixing to cut this. I'm gonna use that other one for my um, little turn right there. You can use your cutter paper, whatever you want to use, but right now I just thought I'd use the scissors right quick because it's quicker. Okay. So remember how I told y'all to package, right? <clears throat> Look at this. Watch this. Let's use the white one. Yeah, then let's just use the white one. And then we'll see how it look with the black one. Ain't that so pretty? Clean and crisp. Look at that. That is just too cute. Fold it over like this, like so, and make your topper. Now, you can cut this here enough to go with your topper. Let me see. Ah, let me see. Let me go with your topper. Let me see. Okay. Or you can use, if I want to have a whole bunch of them, instead of folding the whole thing over. Let me see. Ah. Let's do this. I'm going to cut it in half. Now, instead of, like I was saying, instead of folding it like this, you can fold it over for your topper. Like so. You know, you can do it like that. And that's so cute. Isn't that cute? Or you can just, uh, even if you just want one, so you can have more paper, take you a piece of black um, cardstock or a poster board or whatever. I always buy the poster board, guys. And you can put behind this so you can have that extra and just um, pin it to the back. So you'll have a section of black and white. But I'm, let's do this right here. Let's do this. So, since I'm going to do this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to cut this so y'all can see because I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want, but I don't want, so I have more of it to use. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Go ahead and cut this in half. So I still have enough for another one to use, right? Like this. You can do it like that. Oh, and I still have enough, really. Let's see. You can get you a piece of tape if you like to. And a piece of double sided tape and just fold over like this like so guys that's it and staple it hold on I'm going to do this the right way because I want y'all to see what I'm talking about hold on I'm going to put me just a little piece of double sided tape on here I said I didn't want this video to be long and Hopefully, if y'all just want to skip through the video, y'all can, you know. Okay. I'm going to get me another little piece. And put to the front like this on top. And I'm going to get me another little piece and put to the back. Or you can staple it. But for something real quick, because I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to use some double-sided tape because I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Hey, that's how you can make your toppers. Some of them can be simple, simple, you know. Remember, I told you when, you, when you're packaging, make it cute, neat, and simple, right? Look. And I did this by copying and paste on the computer on a piece of good cardstock, and you have your designer clip. Just make sure you put your info back here on the back of your little card, and there you go. 
See? That's the easiest way to make a topper. The easiest way. You can get a piece of... Um, um, what I'm trying to say, guys. Help me out. Um, wrapping paper that you that's pretty to you. Glue it down. Tape it down. Whatever you want to do. Let it dry. Come back. Cut it. Fold it over. Now, you know, some of them have the cute little designers and stuff like that you could do. You know, the little designer cuts and stuff like that. You can do them like that, too. But the simplest way to do, I found out, I found out that it was easy for me to do a cute topper for my bags. If I'm doing something like this, is to get me a piece of pretty paper or whatever and cut it out, lay it across, and just do the square fold. That's the cute. That's cute to me too. It's it's not plain and it's not dull. Remember, cute, neat, and simple. So that's one way, right? So we got that. So let me put that right there. But check this out right here. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So these here, keep these because you know you can always use them. Keep them once you, if you don't use them, keep them. You can use them for another little background for something. Okay, let's try the other one. Okay. Oh, you do. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna get another one. Now, you can get some color paper and stuff to go behind it or whatever you would like to do. So, guess what I'm gonna do? Let's use the black on this. That's cute. I think that's cute, y'all. <clears throat> I think that's cute. Look at this. That's so cute. It's cool. We're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to do the same thing for this one. Let's see right here. Ah. I'm going to try to see what I'm doing. Okay. Remember, the bags I get from um, Walmart. Candy bags. I was going to buy some with the adhesive on the back, and you can get them from anywhere, too. But I changed my mind, so I said, let me use what I have. So I'm trying to use what I have, guys. So if you're on a budget, this is for you. See? Okay. What I'm going to do, cut that in half, too, like so. I'm going to fold this over. Get me a piece of foam um, tape. But I don't want it too far down because I don't want them to see. See that? Oh, child, let me let me do this. Okay. Okay, girl. Let me see this one. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Alright. We're gonna do the same thing. For this one like we did that one we're gonna get us a little piece of tape put on the front like so we're gonna get us a little piece of tape and put on the back like so okay put on the back like so We're gonna get this. Fold it across. I like some. That's cute. That's cute, guys. That is cute. Look. 
Hey, that's cute. It's a little crooked at the back, but I'm doing this for the video because if I was sending it out, it would be straight. <laughs> but it's okay. But look. So, if you want to have it designer like this, if you didn't want to use the designer name or, or whatever you're doing or inspired or however you want to call it, you can just get black cardstock, white cardstock, make your own letter CC, or just get a pretty background paper, put a ribbon around this. I can very well go back and put a red ribbon, a black ribbon. I can very well get my own. Um, a uh, hole puncher and punch, punch holes in it and make a pretty design on the bag however you want to do it but this is another way to pack this is a way you can also pack your um clips that is just too cute so i'm gonna move these out the way move that out the way so y'all can see what your girl did and what we did today in different ways you guys can um clip your plans pin your plans guys pin your plans yep different way yeah y'all see the product I did that at the back but I think we went over all of them and everything oh you can't see that I'm gonna put that right there so, but yeah, y'all just um, have fun doing this, like I said. And remember, you can do it any kind of way. I mean, literally any kind of way. Remember, we just use this regular clothespin to get this. And this is, look how I package. That's cute. But do it how you would like to do it. But you can, you know, whatever you choose to do is fine. Whatever you choose to do is fine. And remember, I just, you can, if you go back to the video we did, I just already did some. And I didn't make this here my model because it came out perfect. <laughs> I made me a little model. And I just go around and I trace and I cut. That's it. Or whatever paper I want. I have all different colors cardstock paper i have all different color cardboard um poster board paper and everything so when you see these these would definitely be on this color paper white green orange whatever it does not matter but that is it make sure you guys like but remember let's say one more again one more again guys <laughs> let's go with it one more time for real a regular clothes pin to this to this I'm gonna show y'all a closer look at what we did with these clothes pins okay let's get a closer look on these clothes pins let's get a closer look on these clothes pins okay I'm gonna take this off my camera so y'all can get a closer look look check it out All right, guys, that's it from a regular clothespin. From this to this to this. 
All right, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bell is on, guys, so you don't miss a video. In Time Closet says upload over here. And please continue to share, 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 like, and comment. Make that subscribe button white, gray, and not red. Post notification bell on, guys, so you don't miss a video. In Time Miss D upload at Closet Sass.